Since the new roadmap has released, there's been a lot of summers asking why the new expansion pack is coming so early. The roadmap covers September through December of this year, but the expansion pack comes out on Halloween. So these are my theories on why the expansion pack is coming out so early. Number one, this is a Thursday, the first time in a while that Halloween has been on the Thursday, which is a very convenient time to release a pack, especially a spooky pack that seems to be Grim Reaper themed. However, I think it's also because of the controversy from The Sims 4 for Rent. Going back, The Sims 4 for Rent released on December 7th of 2023. And that pack released on a Thursday, of course, a couple weeks before the holidays. There were several bugs with that expansion pack and it was basically a mess. There was only one e-patch that came out around that time. So on December 14th, they fixed four bugs including fixing the pricing UI where it was costing millions of simoleons to rent a house, Sims repeatedly taking showers, and the free real estate treat, the free real estate cheat not working. Despite that, EA was closed for the holidays and a lot of Sim gurus were gone or offline during that same period. And so there was a huge gap between when the pack released and when they start fixing more of the bugs. Besides that one e-patch that came out in December 14th, there wasn't another patch all the way until January 16th. So it was basically a month of radio silence from the Sims team and EA. And it's very, very disappointing. A lot of Simmers were stuck with games that they basically couldn't play through the holidays. So in order to avoid having that same issue, I think the EA has learned their lesson and is deciding to have expansion packs release earlier so that if there are a need for bug fixes, which there probably will be, they can release those faster and closer together. So the last expansion pack we received, which was Love Struck, released on July 25th of this year, and we got four patches within two weeks of the game coming out. We got a same-day e-patch on July 25th to fix the flash flashing glitch that came from the pre-pack patch. We got another e uh, emergency patch on the 26th, to fix sims that were randomly being mean to each other and inappropriate calls from relatives on the phone. Console players got an e-patch on July 29th. And then we got a big regular patch on August 8th, which included a lot of, lot of bug fixes for Lovestruck, including finally being able to use the gallery for Cupid's Corner. So that's a big difference. Four patches within two weeks after Lovestruck versus one patch within four weeks after four rent. So EA is doing the right thing by making sure that they cover all of their players and cover their own butt by having the staff still working. So between Halloween and Thanksgiving, there's a 28 day gap so they can give us four more patches if they have to. If the new expansion pack, The Sims for Life and Death, is as glitchy as the previous two packs have been. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this latest roadmap.